only 14 and she's the one saying she's not done being a kid. Right, yeah. right, which is why I'm sort of trying to give her another option, which yeah. is don't deny it, don't lie about yourself, don't set up that, I don't like her speaking to the whole universe energetically that way either, that I need to lie about myself because for whatever reason, you know, yes, you, you have a right to your privacy, but I want you to be proud of who you are at the same time, so how do you do that? Well, I think if you've got like a, you know, a, a, a circle, you know, a close-knit circle of people you can confide in, and it, it's going to get better as you get older, you know what I mean? Like, you have more confidence in yourself, uh, you know, but adolescence is, is so overwhelming, so I wouldn't say, you know, put yourself in a spot where it's it's going to get to the point where you're you're so miserable and you're dealing with school and you're dealing with like all those popularity contests and you're dealing with your sexuality right which, but you you know you have to go through it but if you've got that close you know close nip of close nip or whatever knit <laughs> group that you can confide in and not be so you know yeah overwhelmed i like that you felt safe enough to tell certain people that yeah. you had friends and family and teachers and stuff like that and maybe that's got to be enough right now <clears throat> you know what i mean and and then you move forward and you get more confidence, more comfortable with yourself. So and what you can does she expand do that when all these outside people come up and start asking her about what they've heard? I say it's none of your business. Right now we have like a hyper focus on it, but we can yeah. broaden this and say there are just things that are inappropriate to ask other people. Yeah. You know, exactly. like, did it's... you masturbate last night? Yeah. None of your business. Yeah. Did, did, did you? <laughs> I, did... I was, I, I had, oh, did... I'm sorry. <laughs> no, because I was, I was having did, Chinese did, did, food. Zip it. How fun was that show fun anyway? If you go up to a 30 year old person, you're like, are you gay or straight? That's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate at the end of the day. And I know in that moment, someone walks up to you, they ask about your sexuality. You're put in the vulnerable position. Yeah. You're put in the, in the position of feeling awkward. The, the truth is they should feel awkward. It's, yes. it's not appropriate for them to ask you these questions. And if you don't want to answer it, tell them you don't want to answer it and it's not appropriate for them to talk to you and ask you questions like that. But I don't want to encourage you to lie. Don't, don't lie. Don't start giving untrue information about yourself. Just don't give any. It's not their business. Piss off, snot face. I like that. That's good. Dude, don't do that. You want a cocktail, honey? <laughs> do you ladies like a cocktail? I totally want a cocktail. Everybody, this is Daniel. My oh, you're on camera? Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Cocktails for everyone. This is a doggy ritual. Now Comet will pee on her pee. I would pee on your pee, and therefore it is my sidewalk. Oh, your booty's all dirty now. <laughs> there's the dyke, oh, polishing goodness. the motorcycle, and there's the queen serving cocktails. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> cheers! <laughs> cheers! Some girls. They're even at you, I'm sure. Plastic surgery. Wah, wah. Not a fan? No. <laughs> that was really no. Like, no. <clears throat> I think it's awful. I really do. Because women, I think they just get better and better looking as they get older. And then you see. Rogue eyebrow. Oh. Rogue eyebrow. You see these women and uh, they're just refused to like age gracefully. So then they look like uh, Robotron crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I have a lemon. <laughs> Hold I had a 10 foot. when Hold I was like, I had a size 10 when I was like in eighth grade. Wow. Do you want to, I do, I just have. We together we can rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Take these pretzels away from me. Throw them at her like she's a duck in a pond. <laughs> this letter is from Restless Barn Mom, Sarah. I am a 40-something-year-old woman who has been married for about 20 years. Before I got married, I had two long-term girlfriends, and I identified myself as a lesbian. My husband swept me off my feet, and while we struggled somewhat early on, 
with my past, I didn't have interest in anyone but him until about two years ago. We have a couple of preteen kids who are happy and well-adjusted. Now I've developed this wonderful crush on a friend. I didn't even realize what it was until I found myself thinking about her during intimate times with my husband. I shared this tidbit with him, and to my surprise, he wasn't really threatened. We see her quite often, and he doesn't really tease me about it, but he knows that she is my muse. I wouldn't say that he encourages me to see her, but he certainly doesn't stand in the way. My problem is, what to do now? I had the opportunity to reveal my past to her about six months ago. She wasn't shocked or even interested, <laughs> but I do think that she's somewhat intuitive about my feelings for her. She's pulled away from me a bit since then, but whenever we do see each other, she's warm and friendly. I feel that the signals she's giving me say, don't even go there. So now I'm back to being interested in women. I so want to go to some exclusively women's only event like the Dinah or Cambria, but I don't want to go with anyone but her. I don't have any interest in meeting anyone else. I love my little family too. My counselor says that I need to have some time to, to, to every so often away from my family to explore my feelings. She suggests going to events at, women's, at a women's bookstore or to an LGBT business organization in a neighborhood, neighboring city. Do you or your friends have any other suggestions for me? I'm not ready to walk away from my current life, but I do want some enrichment. Signed, Sarah, the Restless Barn Mom. I looked over your shoulder while you are reading that, and I thought it said, Dinah or Cambodia. It said Cambria. Yes. Which is better to meet people. <laughs> Who are gay than in Cambodia? <laughs> this is an interesting question because we tend to think it might be different because you're talking about a woman instead of a man, but I hear a married woman telling me that after 20 years of marriage, she developed a crush on someone and now she wants to go play. That's what I hear. That's what she wrote. How long did she say she'd been married? Like 20 years. 20 years, and she hadn't been interested in anybody but her husband until two years ago. If you were happy with this man for 20 years and you've never even been tempted until two years ago, that tells me I would look in the direction of my relationship with my husband first yeah. and see what's happening or what's missing there or what, what's going on there that's changed all of a sudden because 20 years, it's a good stretch of time. All right, here are my thoughts. I know that it could sound different because we're talking about a woman, but essentially, it's the same thing. Yeah. And I know there's probably a lot more to the story and your counselor probably knows a lot more of the big picture than I do, but I don't know that I would encourage you to go to the Dinah or to LGBT bookstore events and, and things like this. It seems like you're now, what you're saying is, should I go out into the world and look for a female lover? And my question to you is, how would this be different if this were a man that you had developed a crush on and not a female friend. Is it different? I think if you're committed to your marriage, it sounds like you're in love with your husband and you're happy with your life and you have children and a family and you're not ready to walk away from it, this becomes where is your commitment to your relationship that you're currently in? I think that's what you should be focusing on. and Decide if you are committed to that relationship or not. Um, and if you're going to have extracurricular activities outside of your relationship, this needs to be carefully mapped out with your husband and what's okay with him and recognize the risks involved to your current relationship. Well, the only thing I liked about the suggestion, Dine is a little bit intense from what I hear, but let's say, let's say this woman does go to um, uh, some LGBT events, right? nothing's happening, she just surrounds herself in gay events, gay community, and that might help her come to the conclusion of like, wow, you know what, I am gay. You know, this 20 years with my husband is fantastic, but I'm ready now to move on, and it's, you know, maybe I've been not gay all along, or wh whatever you want to say, but like, you know, now I'm going to identify as a lesbian again, and then obviously I would encourage her to deal with her husband and kids before she pursues, you know, anything with a woman but I don't know there is something to be said about putting yourselves you know in in professional gay you know not just like going to a gay bar and getting drunk and cooking up with a woman you know right. putting yourself in healthy gay situations that could 